Hey, Bart Miller with Cycling Strong 2014 Interbike, and we're here with Camelback right now. You all know this is the bottle of choice that I've been using on my bike for a couple of reasons. One is when I'm mountain biking, I really hate it when stuff is leaking out of my bottle. So this bottle is super easy. You know, I shove it in my mouth. I'm able to spin this top real easy. I'm going the wrong way with it right here, but get it there, and it gives you a great big burst of uh, water out of the bottle real quick and then instantly you can tighten it back up and keep it in your cage so i love it for that fact i also love it that it mixes really well while it's in the bottle so i've got mike here though he's going to tell us a little bit about the bottles what the difference is uh, why one can keep it colder than the other and all that kind of fun stuff so mike tell us a little bit about them great sure this is the uh, camelback podium bottle it's a 24 ounce bottle it's made out of polypropylene polypropylene is a taste free plastic so your water is going to taste like your water all the time it's not going to taste like a plastic factory uh, second thing we've got in the bottle is it's got its hydroguard antimicrobial so the antimicrobial is going to help keep your bottle clean hygienic and make sure it's uh, pleasant to use for years to come and then last we've got our jet valve technology so it's sort of what we call always on are always open, always closed. So uh, when you want to take a drink, you just pop that in your mouth, take a squirt, but then when it's in your cage, the water's not going to leak out because you've got this little burp valve in here that's going to prevent the water from leaking. If you need to lock the water out, just spin the uh, dial here and that'll positively lock it out. If you're throwing it in your bag or something, you don't want the bottle locked and that'll just close it right up. Stepping up from the podium, you've got the podium chill. So the podium chill is a uh, double layer construction, so two layers of polypropylene. Uh, sandwich in between that is closed cell foam insulation. This is going to keep your water cold to about twice as long as a standard single wall podium. And then step same amount of water. Same amount of water uh, on this one. You get a 21 ounce, 24 ounce here, um, and then you can step up to the big chill if you want. So here's you've got 25 ounces of water, and uh, so you, if you like, for extra long road rides, dirt rides, uh, get out there and uh, you get 25 ounces of water with the big chill. And I'm then be cautious when you buy that bottle though sometimes too big to fit in your bottle cage so a lot of guys go buy that and then instantly it won't fit in there so just be aware of that mm -hmm. when you purchase a great bottle mm -hmm. works fantastic but it is really tall so some bikes it will not fit in the cage and then last we've got the uh, podium ice so I'm gonna grab that real quick So podium ice is a very similar technology to the podium big chill. Uh, the big difference here is the uh, insulation here is an aerogel insulation. It's basically got a very high R value and as a result will keep your water cold four times longer this, than a standard single wall bottle. So this is that bottle you want to use when you're out riding in super hot climates, long rides and you're a real cold water fan. Pick up the podium ice and you're going to be drinking cold water throughout your ride. So the podium ice is the bottle I should have had on Leadville. Uh, I didn't know about that, but that's super, super cool. Obviously, the more you can keep your core temperature cooled down, the better you're going to be and the more efficient you're going to be on the bike. So that's what's really cool about this bottle. If it is, though, colder outside, you're fine on a bottle like this. You know, your water, you don't want it too cold, and your temperature will be just fine. So, Mike, thank you so much. Is that what your name is, is Mike? Did I say yeah, it wrong? Yeah. God, I thought I said it wrong. I said it wrong. So, Mike, thank you for taking time out today to walk through these bottles with us. Now, we know they have all sorts of hydration packs, things like that. I don't pack a pack personally on races. I know some guys do. So we'll probably go through one pack for you because they do have a really cool new pack out. And uh, we'll check it out here in just a second. So stay tuned. Mike and I are going to go through this pack a little bit. You know, some guys, they do Leadville or longer endurance rides. They want a pack like this. And uh, Camelback's got a really cool new pack out. So Mike, tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, Bart, this is the Camelback uh, Kudu. This is the Kudu 12. And the Kudu packs uh, are, very new, are new from Camelback and feature our new uh, back protector technology. So this is the first time Camelback's gotten into the back protector uh, category. And these packs are really focused on the enduro and, and downhill rider. So you've got a lot of features that are very specific to that, uh, that kind of riding. Uh, first of all, you've got our impact protector. So the impact protector is a three-layer uh, vulcanized foam uh, proprietary technology to Camelback. And there's a lot of great benefits to this. First of all, it's flexible, it's breathable, and uh, last, it can take multiple impacts. So this can, uh, you can crash multiple times with this impact, or with this impact protector, and it's going to continue to protect you uh, uh, for throughout a lifetime of use. Um, this is the only impact protector that is CE level two certified. So that is the uh, motorcycle crash standard. There are other products in this category, but they are only CE level one certified. So this is the only uh, impact protector in the market that achieves level two uh, certification. So the way this works is, if I can get you to hold this, Bart. Absolutely. Um, 
in your reservoir compartment, you've got a sleeve here where the uh, impact protector sits in there, drops right in, super comfortable to ride with because it's nice and flexible, so it's not a rigid uh, piece of plastic along your back. It's nice and flexible, nice and lightweight. You've got a three liter antidote reservoir here, and this pack's got everything you need for uh, that uh, enduro or downhill riding. So you've got full face helmet carry here, carry here on the front. You've got uh, places to lash your arm or two on the side and the bottom of the pocket uh, pack. And then one of the nice little features is it comes with an integrated tool roll so you can wrap up your tire levers, your uh, CO2 cartridges, so that uh, you've got a nice way to keep all your uh, tools organized in the pack. So the new Kudu packs are, uh, are new from Camelback. They'll be in stores in January, and uh, this is a great pack for those people that are riding enduro or uh, downhill racing. Awesome. Hey, Mike, thanks so much for sharing this pack with us. I know a lot of you out there will really enjoy something like that, and this protection is super, super cool. So wait till you get your hands on that. It feels amazing, and uh, sounds like it's an amazing product. So look forward to seeing that in stores, and uh, if I get a pack, I guess it'll be this. You got it. All right. <laughs> sounds good. Keep out there. Keep cycling strong. Most of all, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do that. If you haven't left a comment, do that also. We're going to give this link to Mike so that he can check that out, and if you have any questions, he'll answer those for you. So we'll be talking to you soon.